Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Super Junior house party music video. I know, I know we're a day late, but I had a terrible cold yesterday. Still have a little bit of it, but I'm still recovering, I'm recovering. But that's the only reason why it didn't come out yesterday. We had planned to watch it yesterday. Just saying, I'm excited, let's go. <laughs> that's all, that's all. Explanation over. Nice. Oh yes, I love this, guys. Oh, 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 Oh my god. Everybody now. Oh my god, this is cool as hell. Oh, come back, eh? amazing i love the funkiness i love the core progressions i love how catchy it is this is amazing oh, yeah are you okay you're dying man i just saw mate ah oh, that was good yeah but what i was gonna say whoa <laughs> 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 it literally had nothing to do with life right now. yeah but it, it's uh what, what I, I was watching them I, I saw, I got a notification from that thing where they go to like this show where there's like kids mm -hmm. and it's like they're looking back at their career. Oh, that's amazing. And I was just thinking like watching that. It's like, I, I didn't watch it. it oh, I think that's what it is. I didn't watch it, but I, I, I saw the title. And I'm like, yeah, fuck, you know, they're one of those set of people that have had such a long career. Wonderful and career. And they've had through, they've gone through so much in their journey. They're one of my favorite K-pop bands for sure. And they I really, really adore them. don't have to keep going they're just doing it because they want to they're doing it because they love the craft they yeah. love the grind and i really like them though they're one of the coolest people ever so, i think they're super dope and this this concept really suits them as a whole and the core progressions the funkiness the yeah that how weirdly catchy that chorus is is just pinnacle super junior at his best <laughs> I have toured around the whole world. Literally. How sick is that line? Nice. Dog at home. Yeah, dog. <laughs> he looks amazing. I like He's the coolest dude ever. Not wearing a mask. <laughs> How good? God. 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 The brand is so popular in Korea. Like half of the brand. It's a completely different song. What the hell happened? How did I get here? Nice. Skr, skr. Skr, skr. Now. Well done, that's good. That's Let's how you do it. Died. <laughs> nice. Of course. Nice. 
that's how you do it. You're killing them. That, that, that was amazing. That's how you do it. I, I, I think now we're getting to that level, right? But I think, well, hard to say because Super Junior were always kind of like, um, whatever concept they decided to do, like in D&E, for example, when they decided to go a bit more R&B. A uh, bit more hip hop ish inclined. R&B, yeah. yeah. It, it was um, very modern. That's the way to do it. Like that project was very consistent. And I think uh, my biggest pet peeve sometimes is you get an agglomeration of too many genres and you don't you don't have a pure concept, mm. which in its own, yes, live and maybe uh, and maybe for a showcase, a commercial for commercial value, mm-hmm. it makes sense. But for listening experience, it may not be the best because you never actually get to catch on a wave. You're, you're riding many waves at the same time, which has its own charm. But I think that's the way to do it. You either choose one genre for a specific amount of time, which is the main baseline, and then you go to hip hop and you return away with completely different aesthetic, completely different concept. Mm-hmm. And then you return to uh, uh, the main baseline, which is kind of that funky, funky chunk, chunk, yeah, chunk, yeah, chunk, sound. Chunk, chunk. It's amazing. I think they did such a great co- like combo. And, and now they're going to return they're gonna now merge both with this kind of R and B with like the same chord progressions R- yeah. with hip hop, which is allows the whole sorry to interrupt. It allows the whole a, a group of, of men, talented men, to shine in different genres, and you also get a different super junior in one single commercial comeback. It's such an amazing, it's such a clever thing as well. They just murder everything. I think, I think that that whole change, that disruptive middle section, is so needed. Though it was, it was needed. Not not because the song needed it or it's just because for the visual and and shock factor of it the surprise elements it's just so clever it's, so clever it's been a bit it's been a few um bands that have been that have been getting it right lately like uh, the one that comes to mind is obviously sb19 when with they their did, latest with their latest track, comeback what? yeah that, that was very well done in terms of storytelling through beats but this one it just has a lot of commercial value but it's so well done because it, it actually section it, it's it made the song into sections yeah it didn't just make it into a whole cocktail that you can they, you, they're trying to then sell you in one drink in exactly. one sip exactly it, it was it was the three course meal it's good yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it's, them it's crazy mix of both because this is what they excel at right they literally do it with everything Wonderful. so strong i freaking adore these guys i love them so much I, it's called the resonance re- renaissance again Ren- renaissance the 10th album oh okay who was that had the same name of their album was re- it NCT? the resonance yeah, the it was resonance was yeah yeah okay, and this is okay. renaissance oh my god yes that i got them confused in my head well, yes yes let yes. us know your thoughts about it and also remember you can support the podcast and in reactions like this by purchasing merch so do click check out uh Future Friday merch at the, the link in the description.